1000k gang, welcome back. Minecraft guide episode number 105. The sounds are soundier than before. Yeah, last episode, I made some enhancements in between episodes. Listen to these cows, they sound so good, so happy. They love their life, I think. Guide episode 105, outposts. Today we're going to talk about outposts. I just found out some new stuff about the outposts, and actually, these structures are kind of crazy, not going to lie. It's really interesting. That's the plan. So right at the end of the last episode, highly recommended, we ran the hero of the village farm. In between episodes, I ran the farm a little bit longer. Then I came back over to the storage building and checked out the maps that I had in the storage building. So this is the one that's always up on the wall above the fireplace. It's like the main map, you know, with like the ghetto on it and the solder house. Yeah, like everything on this map. Inside of this shulker box right here are all of my other maps that I've created in this world, other than like the ones that are over there on the map wall by the plaza area. Yeah, those maps don't count. So check this out. We have a map right here. Um, this one is explored on a little bit and based off of the placement right here in the shelter box, this is what I was thinking. Uh, that's the central map. That map is right off to the side. This map is off to the other side, fully explored, things marked, no clue what they are. Pretty sure they're villages though. And then this map down below that one has the resource desert. This map is mostly filled in too. I can kind of like vaguely remember filling this one in. Uh, now that I look at it, I'm pretty sure we found an outpost on this map too. But uh, basically, long story short here, uh, we're missing a map right here above this one. This is the map where that outpost that we found a couple episodes should be. So I figured today we'd start by flying up there, mark that outpost, fill in the map. That means first things first, all we need to do is fly straight north this way, all the way this way. But I am considering, highly thinking about making a quick stop at the town right over here really quick just to do one thing. Ah, the town, I don't miss you. I don't miss you at all. Banner, you're gonna come with me for just a second. I promise you're gonna go right back on the wall right there. That's the perfect spot for it. But really quick, I just have to, to fix it really quick. Much better. So I'm actually kind of surprised that we never made a map for where we're headed right now because I'm pretty sure World Spawn, it has a chance, a small chance to be actually on this map that we're gonna make today. And then I figured if we're gonna make it today we might as well go all the way and fill in the entire map so mark the outpost maybe mark the village that's right by the outpost fill the entire map in maybe find a mushroom island biome maybe perhaps i would love that okay but big moment big moment right here the birch forest the savannah biome this is definitely on that new map so let's go ahead and land right here get rid of this old map we don't really need that anymore and make a brand new map right here oh yeah okay so we're definitely i hope on the new map uh the placement is kind of concerning me see maps are weird i feel like you need to go like really far onto the new map to actually like be on the new map i don't know it's, it kind of feels a little buggy to be honest like if you're too close to the border you just end up making like the old map and it's not good uh but thankfully we're on the new map is this fully zoomed out now it is okay perfect perfect if i talk while making a map no matter what 100 percent, it is guaranteed that i will lose track of how many upgrades to the map that i've made okay so first things first i think we should head over to the outpost and talk about this thing a little bit because they're kind of interesting like really interesting but before we go to the outpost just in case here technically speaking let's land at this village and check it out it's not an exploration episode so don't worry about it i'm not gonna get cats okay let's see what's in the town okay so we got a lime bed george the third looking absolutely suspicious sea pickles where'd you get those a pretty sweet cauldron no way a lime green banner this is actually kind of perfect this loot also this loot my bed and they're standing in the ceiling uh yeah we're done with this place we're out of here ah so the outpost the outpost is right here it's actually like really really close to the village this right here is an outpost we know what it is we've seen it before we've been at this outpost exactly like four times in the last three episodes yeah we're, we're pretty familiar with this place outposts are tower-like structures that you'll find generating around your minecraft world these things were added to Minecraft in the 1.14 Village and Pillage update. That update dropped in 2019, which means that these things have been in the game for two years now. Kind of crazy. Outposts are basically pillager bases. If you find an outpost, you're probably going to find a bunch of pillagers because pillagers spawn at these things. The pillagers that you'll find spawning here are the normal ones with the crossbows, like that guy right there, and the banner head ones that give you the bad omen effect. 
Those ones are a little bit more dangerous because bad omen. If you take the pillagers out of these things, uh, well, then they will just respawn. Pillagers will continually spawn at these things, which means you can actually make a pretty decent farm out of these things for experience and pillager drops and maybe even the bad omen effect. You could even, if you wanted to, actually set up a raid farm at these things too, which gets like pretty crazy, kind of overpowered. It might be a little bit safer and probably smarter to put the raid farm off to the side of this thing though. The outpost is a pretty tall structure. I think this thing is like 21 or so blocks tall check this thing out right here on every single side of the outpost up at the top we'll find those pillager banners which are pretty cool we could definitely take those or if we wanted to on java we'd actually use these pillager banners to mark this thing on a map it's kind of clever right there if you do it like that then you get the ominous banner label which is actually perfect now you're going to be able to find outposts generating in basically every single biome that you'll be able to find a village generating it storm their beaches storm their beaches yeah that's right guys you're gonna show me i'm, I'm sure you definitely will oh no whatever will i do on java edition outposts can generate in plains biome desert biome savannah biomes taiga biomes and snowy tundra biomes on bedrock edition outposts will also be able to generate in the snowy taiga biome the sunflower plains biome taiga hills and snowy taiga hills on java edition outpost generation is actually a little bit smarter you shouldn't be able to find outposts generating like right in the middle of villages or right on top of them you can find them generating somewhat near villages though like this one right here that's actually pretty close Outposts will generally be composed of a couple structures. Every single time, you will always have this watchtower structure. Then you can have up to four other random smaller structures generating around this thing. If you move into it, you're going to find four stories. Story number one right here, it's empty. Story number two, it's, it's also empty. Story number three, wait for it, it's empty. And then finally, story number four, it's not empty. There's going to be a loot chest up here. I actually took some of the loot out of this chest right here. But loot chest, top floor always. All right, so those other structures, the ones that can generate with the outpost and then the outpost itself. I moved into another world that is a whole lot more calm so we can actually look at these things. Structure number one that can generate alongside the outpost watchtower is this thing right here. It's called feature cage one. It's a cage. It will be empty every single time. Structure number two isn't going to be empty. It's the exact same cage, but a different name, Feature Cage 2, and it should have an Iron Golem generating inside of it. This poor Iron Golem, we had this cage generate with our outpost in our survival world, and uh, rip, that's all I can say. Take a seat, this next one is the most impressed one by far. Feature number three of the outpost, it's logs. Look at these things, they are literally a pile of dark oak logs. This is crazy, that's absurd. A pile of logs, no way. This outpost feature is known as targets. There will be two basically like scarecrow targets, I guess, generating with the outpost. It's too bad that they don't have the target block though. This one is known as tent one. It's just a simple tent. It's actually kind of cool. You could use this design for inspiration if you're building like a campground or something. And then tent number two, things level up a little bit. We got pumpkins this time. It's getting kind of crazy. Now the actual outpost structure itself. This is the outpost structure. It's called the Watchtower, and it's big. It's tall. This is what we were just checking out. We have a loot chest up at the top. This is what an untouched one might end up looking like. It can, of course, be randomized. The best thing that you're going to find in that loot chest is probably going to be the Bottle of Enchanting. Experience in a bottle, or maybe a crossbow. Uh, but a crossbow, honestly, isn't even that good. The outpost is always going to have a door, and then it will always have the exact same layout. We're always going to have a staircase that kind of winds up this thing. All the floors are going to be empty, and then up top, we're gonna have this balcony with a loot chest. Banners on every single side. Same thing every single time, no matter what the biome is. Kind of a bummer there. The outpost watchtower is clearly somewhat sizable. It's like 20 or so blocks tall, maybe like 13 blocks wide or so. Uh, decently sizable, but also not the biggest thing in the world. The actual size of the outpost structure is going to be way bigger than the watchtower. These watchtowers are an odd shape, which means they have a center. The center is gonna be right here on the top floor. The outpost spawning area where the pillagers can spawn is centered around this spot right here. Pillagers can spawn in a 72 by 54 by 72 block area centered around the center of the top floor of the outpost. So pretty sure that's going to be this spot right here in the middle. I'm pulling these numbers from the Minecraft wiki. If I'm interpreting everything correctly, understanding it all, 36 blocks out from the center right there. That's crazy. Like that's really far, but that would mean that pillagers can actually spawn in the world all the way out here, like pretty far away from the actual watchtower. Definitely feels right though, because pillagers seem to spawn like crazy far from this thing. And this big distance is going to give us room for some of these other structures to generate in here too. Okay. So this next one is the craziest one. We're over in another random world now, new survival world. Here's an outpost. Do you notice anything? Other than the gigantic cobblestone platform that I put here to make it really, really dark. The outpost. Do you notice anything about the outpost? And may maybe like the mob spawning by the outpost. 
Mm, give it a second. Give it a second. Okay, this is the one that blew my mind. So over here, it's really dark. Definitely, absolutely dark enough for like a creeper to spawn. And they just don't. The creepers, zombies, skeletons, other hostile mobs will not spawn within the area of the outpost. That means only pillagers are going to spawn within that like 72 by 54 by 72 block radius that we just talked about. Oh, that's crazy. That means you can literally build platforms in here and have a pillager farm. Only pillagers. No need to eliminate anything else. I didn't realize that. That's kind of crazy. The only other mobs that can spawn within the pillager outpost spawning area are passive mobs, which won't affect your hostile mob farm which is crazy only pillagers i don't know how but i legit didn't know this and that blows my mind that is crazy it's only going to be pillagers and that's definitely the case like i've tested this for a while not a single skeleton creeper zombie anything like that spawning anywhere on this outpost or near it which is really crazy but if i move under the ground and go far enough i will definitely eventually start to find other hostile mobs so nothing's wrong with this world that's just how it works with the outpost structure which is crazy that's definitely gonna be really useful for outpost farms oh yeah i guess another mob that could spawn in the outpost area would be the iron golem inside of the cage but once that thing generates in if it gets taken out it's done it doesn't come back so iron golem in the cage passive mobs around the outpost and only pillagers that's insane finally if you want to stop spawns at outposts all you have to do is light this place up if the skylight level is lower than 11 and the block light level is lower than eight pillagers will actually be able to spawn if it's brighter than that like you put a bunch of torches down then pillagers are done spawning and that's that you have a safe outpost so i have to be honest uh, with you guys i have never actually made an outpost farm in survival like never I haven't ever done it i've done it in creative mode but not in survival mode and that's something that i might actually want to change in this world because that whole pillager is like only spawning at the outpost thing i didn't realize that like i am my, my mind is literally blown that that's how that works like that's crazy like that's such an easy mechanic and farm to work around you literally just have to make like platforms like with a creeper farm and then like dump water and dump the pillagers off the side of the platforms and then take them out somewhere it's so easy or you could literally even just go like low tech on it and and make like an area where you could just like basically stand and just take out the pillagers hey is this a swamp where i got the slime balls from i'm pretty sure it is that's cool all right, so that's basically it for outpost though. I think I've basically covered every single thing about the outpost, which means it's time to fill in this map a little bit more and see what we have. I like the looks of the ocean because to me, if I'm gonna find a mushroom island, which is the final big biome that I'm really, really hoping for in this world, then I'm gonna need an ocean. Maybe this game could hook me up and this could be like a super great episode. Perhaps, just maybe. Um, what is this? Huh? What is this? I don't remember this. What is this? This goes somewhere. No, I'm making my way down the world's most annoying staircase to figure out that it's probably just from portal exploring. Like when I was trying to find the Mesa biome. Definitely from that. Okay. Uh, another one. I found another portal over here. This is definitely from portal exploring. I can remember this now. I was at this island and I was walking around looking around before. Definitely remember this place. Oh, these savannah biomes are always so cool. This place is amazing. The shattered savannah. Oh, it's so interesting. This is like one of the coolest biomes in the whole game. That's so cool. They're so tall too. Like I I'm above it, but like, look at this. This is like crazy. Like this is like new mountain le level height right here. 161. That's crazy. That's all tiny from here. Oh, village city, village city, village city. Finally, 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 something interesting. A village. Uh, I'm definitely gonna mark this for sure. I wasn't gonna do it. I, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I found a cat and I definitely don't have this one. I definitely don't have this cat. Come over here. Come over. No, 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 oh, no. Don't be like this. This is the worst. This, this is, is the worst. worst. I don't even get it. How are you meant to do this? Like you stand still and it walks away from you and doesn't care. You run up to it, and then it gets freaked out, and, oh, maybe this is how. Come to me. <gasps> Hi. <gasps> oh, one fish, one fish. Oh, your name is one fish. Oh, this is amazing. And it's nighttime, too. This is so perfect. Bring me something good, please. Rotten flesh, I will treasure it forever. Thank you. One fish, come now. Where are you? I lost the cat already. I lost it. Literally, I just had it a second ago, and I walked through the town, and it got distracted. Ah. Where are you? I can hear you. Get out of the wheat. No, we're not farmers. Okay, I'm gonna come back for this cat uh, later when I'm done filling in this map. 
Village number two, Savannah Village. Maybe this is, no, this, this couldn't be the first Savannah Village of this world, right? Maybe it is. I'm not too sure. Hey, another one of those. Nice. Here's another village. And another village right up there. Mm, interesting. Uh, obsidian pillar with a with a with a village and a temple right there. I'm wondering if I've well I've clearly been here, but that's really weird. I don't remember this spot. Another village. All right. Well, good news. Filled in the map. Found a lot of villages. Those are all of the villages, like all of those banners. And in the bottom corner, I found the zombie farm, like the one back at spawn. Bad news, I did not find Mushroom Island Biome, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Can't lie, I'm a little bit bummed about that, but we have to move on. So, it's been a while since I've done a raid, actually. So I'm thinking that we're going to go ahead and actually take on a raid really quick here. Ah, village, sweet village. I miss you, I hope you miss me. Welcome back to town. Hey, thanks to me. Boom. Pow. Oh no. Not so fast. Goodbye. Ghost man gone. No. So we back in the mines. My boy. Not another one. Hey, there we go. Raid finished. I lost a lot of the iron golems, so definitely gonna have to bring them back. But they helped out huge time, which is pretty sweet. So big shout out to them. All right, time to get back over to the base. All right, so now I want to play a quick little game with you guys. So as you can see, there's a time lapse happening. I'm building something. Uh, what am I building? Well, that's the game. Go down to the comments right now. Like, pause the video. Okay, before I had you pause, I probably should have told you what you're doing down in the comments. Uh, down in the comments, take a guess. What am I building? Okay, let's try this again. Pause now. Okay, welcome back. So, I hope your guess was good. If you guess what I'm building right without cheating, then good news for you. You win. You're gonna have to wait until the end of the video to figure out what you won, but you've won, which is pretty sweet. If you lost, well, then you lost. But... It looks like the build is actually getting finished up now, so I should probably wrap this time lapse up and get back to the episode. GG's, the build is finally done. I would guess that it's taken me probably about an hour. For reference, the hero, the village effect is gone now. Unfortunately, didn't get to use the farm, but it's okay because instead of a farm, we have a brand new, amazing looking building. Check it out, our very own outpost in the jungle. Don't worry about it, guys, it's safe. Yep, that's right. Everything you've ever wanted. Our very own outpost in the jungle recreated exactly how a normal outpost would be. The only difference here is actually going to be the torches. I lit this thing up so I don't get spawns in here because that would be really bad. But yeah, exactly recreated like we will find it in a while, but over in the jungle. Now, the final thing that I need to get on this outpost so it can actually be fully complete are the banners. Thankfully, I've been doing a couple raids lately, so I have tons and tons of these things. So many more banners actually back over at the town i still have that whole like setup there with like probably like 16 banners but it's cool we'll get them later but here we go the final banner right over here outpost complete now don't worry this outpost isn't just like a random outpost i definitely have a plan for this thing uh we'll, we'll see what the plan is very very soon but brand new building adding to the skyline and it's an outpost oh that's sweet that's sweet i like it but we can't see it as much as i thought we would have been able to now, actually, picking the spot for this outpost was really, really tricky. I was thinking, like, right there, obviously, next to those towers. I felt like it kind of fit in. But then I was also thinking, like, maybe behind the storage building, like, along the road that's back there. But I obviously decided this spot right there. I figured it would be a lot more visible right there. So, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty nice addition to the world. We'll do something with the outpost very soon. And comment of the day. Day two of asking Waddles to show us Pam is so we know she's safe. Of course. So, if you haven't noticed, I actually had to increase security around here. I had an incident, so we've got like the spy positioned right there over here we have orange actually moved in a little bit uh it was rough and then pam is right back here holding down the panda exhibit which uh it's been a minute let's go ahead so i haven't done this in a while these pandas are probably sad here you go here you go maybe something great maybe something good 
Oh my god, another one of those adorable ones. Well, please get out of the water. Please, 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 please. So I'm not fully sure what's going on here, but these two pandas mutate every single time pretty consistently, which is pretty sweet. I wish that this panda would get out of the water and maybe we can speed this panda up a little bit. Please grow up. Please grow up. Thank you. How about these two? How about these two? Anything cool? Rolly panda. I don't like rolly panda. How about these two? Anything cool? Anything cool? Uh, angry panda. So yeah, good news here is that we're finally starting to actually get more pandas, which is pretty sweet. Now, there is one final thing that I want to do before I end the episode, which is update the map right here. All we have to do is grab it. There we go. Boom. Brand new building on the map. Brand new building over there. I'll post one of the coolest structures. That's going to do it for this episode of the Minecraft Guide. If you haven't left a like yet, now's your chance. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're really missing out. Don't make that mistake. Big shout out to my patrons, GBFan1984, Devins, and 4 gay 99 Until next time, it's been me, your boy, Bridgels. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and if you won, nice job.